right, so welcome back. Hoping you're having a fabulous day here today. We do, in fact, have the patch notes, the global summer update patch notes over here. 717 maintenance and event notice. A three hour update. What the fudge? Okay, JP had two hours. We have three hours. Well, then, <laughs> they, they don't want to make you accidentally purchase um, these cosmetics or gems, right? That's what it is. That's what, that's what it is, right? Uh, so today, we're going to go through the update, see how it is. It says Shine Bright Summer, special summer update. First, we have the Hawk Dreamland event. Um, 2023 special summer card pack. We have the new Goddess of Beauty Freya. We have the summer celebration special check-in event. Shaved Ice Please special world quest. The Hawks Dreamland Adventure um, card pack. Is that mentioned twice? What the fudge? Just they flipped it. They said it here, then here again. Okay. Uh, event boss battle returns. Um, it's going to be the LR Sunshine Holy Knight Esquire. Uh, so that's what we have in the event. All right, we have Green Freya over here. A pretty good character. Summer Waifu, pretty strong. Up to you, though. There is an anniversary, a festival right after. So I would I would keep your uh, your gems a little safe, a little safe, right? We have this card set over here, which is applies or increases all allies attack by a certain percentage for each applicable ally on the field. And again, those applicable allies are humans and unknown race units. Not bad, pretty cool card set there. Um, so again, that's there. We have the Holy Knight Escanor uh, Sunshine LR variant releasing, which is again, pretty nice. We have the full translations over here, which basically we kind of know how he works. So I won't spend too much time on it, but um, it is it is a pretty good kit. All right, though people are saying it's like a bad kit. It's actually pretty good for what it is. But again, you have to realize he's not a festival unit. I still think that LR Melly is better, obviously, because it's just the use case. Um, but again, that's a festival unit getting LR, not, not a normal unit. This is a normal unit getting LR. It's probably not going to be more broken than what the festival unit is, right? Like Green Esquire wasn't more broken than LV Melly in the original days, right? So it's the same kind of concept. I think that's what they're trying to emulate uh, in a way. But again, people are saying that he's garbage. No, he's not. He's just probably not as good as LR Melly in a way, right? But again, that is worth mentioning. Uh, the winner statue is now here for the tournament. So again, congratulate the winners or congratulations to the winners. What the hell did I just do there? Uh, but yeah, nice job there. We have the summer cosmetics that can only be purchased as a set. No individual purchase for global as well, which means you cannot purchase these for gems. You got to fork over them dollars and you'll be good to go or whatever currency you use. Fork them over and you can buy those cosmetics. So pretty much a massive L, massive L. Um, but that is what they're uh, they're doing now, which again, still sucks. So debuff effect improvements. Debuffed enemies will no longer show a debuff effect when using uh, or being targeted by skills. Debuffs will appear as usual during battle or when using the magical eye feature. We have the auto clear ticket improvement, which it's not bad, but for some things it's annoying, right? Usually I hit max and it's like I'm doing 10 auto clear tickets. Now I hit max, it's like 30. I'm like, oh crap, that's a lot, but it is good. It is uh, not a bad change, but I have to get used to it now, right? I'm used to hitting max and doing 10. All of a sudden, I just do 30. Spend 30 stamina pots on the wrong thing. That has happened, or 30 uh, runs on this wrong thing. It happened already two times. So I have to get used to this new thing, uh, which is kind of annoying, but it is good. It is really good uh, when you're trying to mass clear something, which would be pretty helpful. So definitely um, a partial W there. will become more W when I get used to it. But yeah, we also have a free multi here after checking in for three days. You have three uh, SSR pendants. We have five SA coins, three pendants again, five more SA coins. Not a bad check-in, but you know, pretty basic. So that is there. We have the world um, quest, which is shaved ice, please, which is pretty cool. Not a bad event, but you have a chance to get um, 10 gems, two gems in this box. Again, I don't know what the rates are, nor do I know how many boxes you get. So you will get boxes. Will you actually get like 10 gems? Probably no, but you could, you definitely could. Uh, we have the um, Secret of Century Beach. This event always returns for summer, so it's also, it's also here for uh, a few gems. So, pretty nice, pretty nice. We also have Hawk's Dream Lad Adventure, one of my favorite events, making its debut again into the game, which is pretty freaking nice. Um, again, it's sort of updated in a way. They have a new icon and some stuff like that. But again, it's the same event we always had, so don't expect too much from it. Just expect the same event we've always had, okay? But again, pretty simple. We have the event boss battle, Giant Hawk, which is also making uh, a return over here. Very annoying boss, but again, it's, um, if you know what you're doing, it's easy in a way. So that's there. 
Moving forward, we have the clear count reward over here. We have the event exchange tab over here, which is pretty nice. Some of the rewards are pretty, um, pretty good over here. We have Hero Arena Season 2. This is a fun one. Uh, there has been some really good improvements, so do keep that in mind. A lot of the changes are pretty nice. But again, they did acknowledge new, um, like reward changes but um they didn't really do much there so the rewards are the same but it says select one uh, of the five leagues to battle against three enemies uh, you know how this works i don't have to explain that but season two changes unexpected disconnection will no longer result in defeat instead players will be able to resume the battle from where they left off due to network issues no longer will there be a time limit for using skills during one's turn hero arena will be open for six weeks and the rewards and challenges will reset every week heroes who receive season buffs will be marked in the hero selection tab which is again right now for freya so that's pretty cool okay Moving forward, we have the League Rewards. Over here, we have Challenger, Champion, Master, uh, Platinum, and Gold. Same exact rewards, nothing different. So don't expect anything additional here. We have the same amount of coins in here. Nothing changed on the reward structure as of right now. It is the same as it was before. Okay, make that clear. But moving forward, we have returning costumes that can only be purchased as a set. These three cannot be purchased with gems. You got to fork over dollar bills, bro. Got to do that or whatever currency you use. So... Keep that in mind. But you can purchase these ones for gems, which again, if you look at it, the useless ones. That's how they did it. So pretty much, I don't think anybody uses these units anymore in a, in a capacity. Um, so, you know, maybe you use these three, but still, they're two years old. I, I, I can't believe that they didn't allow us to get anything with gems here. Um, the main ones are the new ones and the other stuff. But this you can also get for gems if you want them. If you want them, but it's up to you. And they're not on discount because they want they want you to purchase this to build your Escar. They didn't even put them on discount. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. We have over here um, a battle event, and last but not least, we have the regular hero added. That is going to be tier to the race draw tickets as they always should be. Still to this day, still to this day, Cusack has not made it to the banner. He is remaining in limbo in an area of forgotten uh, lands where he and Chandler have not made it to the SSR draw. That is crazy to me that they've still managed to do that. Like absolutely, what a what a great thing to do. But yes, that is basically your update. Again, I highly recommend you look away from this banner. If you are down miserable in gems and just wait seven days, you'll find out what the next banner is, which is again, a festival. Remember, I have quickly hammered this point in 37 times, so I'll make this fast. You will get the information for the festival banner on uh, the 26th, the exact information. But you will start getting the hints on the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, around there, right? Which is only a few days away. So as soon as the first two hints kick in, you might have an idea like, oh, they're teasing Demon King. Like if we see the first teaser, it's a Demon thing. That means we already know it's Demon King, uh, Demon King Zeldris, or Demon King Melly. Which if one of those three you like, save, save, save. If it's like a, a chaos thing, then it's Chaos Arthur, correct? If it's like some goddess thing, then we're screwed. We have no idea what that is, but... Again, we have an idea. I would wait till the teasers drop. They're only a few days away, so don't splurge just yet. Wait a little bit, just a little bit. That's it, all right? Pretty simple, but I will catch you in the next one. Have fun, stay safe, peace, and enjoy. That's been it for me here today. Hope you enjoyed that video. Just a quick one to talk about it, and yeah, basically that's it.